today um, we're putting up some concrete masonry unit block. Uh, we're forming the side walls as well as uh, putting up the, the walls in the front and the back of the school. Uh, later today, we will be placing the concrete um, sidewalk. Right now, we, we're uh, working on the formwork and the grading. Uh, the Royal Thai uh, military forces are mainly taking the charge on the sidewalk forms. They're also helping out with a lot of the roof construction as well going on today. Um, by the end of the week, we do hope to have uh, the complete structure up. Uh, and then into next week, we'll start doing um, uh, working on electrical on the inside of the school. It's been unique. It's actually been uh, uh, high it's challenging in some parts just because of the language barrier, but everyone's actually very, um, they're very knowledgeable. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of things we've learned from them. They, they work really quickly. They're very fast, but they're really good at what they do as well. Um, there's a lot of things that we've bounced back on ideas uh, from all our troops and their, um, and their forces as well. We're from our welders to our builders, um, our doctors learning some stuff as well. Um, it's, it's unique and awesome just to see uh, how they do things and then kind of seeing um, how we do things, comparing those, and then kind of working together to get the best uh, product that we can uh, to give. So, The goal of Cobra Gold for uh, Site 4, uh, we're building a uh, school, a one-room schoolhouse for um, Bong Nong Mi School. Uh, it's gonna be used by the local village. It's pretty much about two, just uh, 200 uh, students, if not more, give or take. Um, and it's gonna be used as, mainly as an auditorium for the school. Uh, just for some of their ceremonies because a lot of the ceremonies that we have uh, or they have are underneath this open area um, so it's going to give them a better uh, better learning environment a better place to hold the ceremony especially for the kids uh, i mean a better place to um, a better building will le uh, give them a little more motivation for learning and you know make them happy i can imagine how it would be to um, just to be able to have a nice school and have a good learning environment and just it motivates you that much more so it's important we're here um, not only to show face, but also to um, you know, provide assistance to, uh, to the nation, to this host nation. Um, you, we've had a good uh, standing relationship uh, with, the Thai, uh, with Thailand um, and the Thai military forces. And now we can kind of show, hey, this is what we're all about, this is what we can do. But also can show that, hey, we're, we're also here to help give a helping hand um, and provide that influence uh, here as well. To show that, hey, no matter where we're at, no matter who it's for, we can provide you with what you need, and we have the capability to do so. The uh, participation of the countries for this site, um, because everybody comes from different backgrounds and everybody has like a different uh, reason for their unit. Uh, speaking to like the mobile development unit uh, fit, uh, five two, which is the for the Royal, uh, Royal Thai Forces, um, they they do construction, but not a little bit uh, less. I guess grade of what uh, our uh, Naval Mobile Construction Unit does. Um, the Singaporean Combat Engineers are mainly kind of like uh, um, the equivalent to the Marine Corps Combat Engineers. So a lot of the times we're just we're pulling all these ideas together and we're all learning so much from each other. Um, from our from over from our builders to our electricians, they're learning new skills and new tasks as well as their, their builders. They're seeing how we do um, how we ensure quality work is being performed, as well as the Singaporean combat, uh, combat engineers. Um, so putting a lot to the melting pot, we've been able to take a lot out of it and provide the best, like, best quality school we're going to be able to give to, to these um, uh, Thailand locals. So something I would like everybody to know about this exercise um, is just how much of an impact it really brings to the, um, the locals here. Uh, they love the fact that, you know, not only American forces and their own military force and the Sing uh, Singaporean common engineers are here, but it's the fact that, of course, we're giving them a, you know, a school and a product and a building that they can use, but um, they're just so, so happy just to be able to be helped. And the impact, um, to see the impact of how quickly that is, I mean, from the first day we got here, uh, from you know, raising columns for a ceremony and seeing the smiles on the faces of local villagers to how welcoming and how happy they are. They, they truly um, appreciate what, what we're doing. And I think that's the biggest thing is that to, for people to know is that uh, it might seem like, hey, this is normal construction like anyone, anyone can do, but it's the fact that we've come out all the way over here to Thailand um, to be able to partner with our the host nation forces and the uh, Singaporean communities and all, and all other partner nations and be able to provide such an amazing product and um, s uh, provide that impact to locals here and to show uh, are the helping hand that we can give. So the thing I just want to add is, or you know, people 
to Noah Holmes is that it's uh, even though there is a, a you know a slight culture or language barrier, uh, it's amazing um, when everybody's engaged and they want to they want to be here. Uh, I know you know uh, the, the crew here is excited. Our troops are are really excited to be here to work on this project to be um, with these folks and. It's amazing just how engaged everybody is, and a cultural barrier really, it might seem tough to break through, but if you dig into it fast enough, the, the other, um, everybody's gonna reciprocate, and people want to learn about uh, each other here. I mean, being with the uh, Royal Thai, uh, both on and off uh, work hours, uh, we've gotten to know each other a lot, and it's amazing how fast that uh, relationship can grow when you're here together doing, uh, uh, focused on a, uh, what's it called, um, specific task or combined tasks together. Um, no matter what, if it's a language barrier, culture barrier, um, you're able to still work together and still learn from each other and uh, perform work well.